E flat sirs. I need to put a video on my channel, so it's gonna be this guy. As you can see, IFR conditions. Can't really see that building out there, but. And uh, we're gonna take a flight, and we are on FR Sky, which totally is far superior to Spectrum. The Tyrannus 2, this is the new 2019 model, right? Yes. With the new M9 gimbals. So nice. So, anyway, let's go ahead and take off. Flaps up. Filming a white plane in white clouds. This is great. Why do you get so far from the camera? We can't hear you. <laughs> Let me move closer to All right. So this thing is still about the same as it was last, whoever knows how long I filmed it ago. And we haven't made much changes. We still take off at half laps and all that. Except we put a Admiral 2600 LiPo instead of those dumb zippy compacts. Those things are darn it. <laughs> Service bulletin. Uh, Hobby King zippy batteries suck. They work. But they get old and puff fast. For something like this, it's not that easy. Yeah, well, even if you put it in a plane of this low amperage, you know, you're not using it hard they still puff and it's like stupid that's my experience with zippy batteries i may make someone mad but i don't care flaps half, flaps up. about eighty percent of the flights we do on this is are doing those touching goes Services are not made to be aerobatic airplanes, right? Yeah, it's, just, it's really good. It's really fun. Nice and smooth. And this guy likes the looks of a Cirrus. I don't... I'm not particularly one for them, but... They look okay, I guess. Cessna 400s look better, though. So e flight that should be their next civilian release model, right? Mm. Lights are all working. You see the nice wing tip in the nose. I did have one incident with this thing one time. And that was what? When the grass was so long it caught the wing tip. Yeah, cut the wingtip and pretty much nosed it over. And of course, with Horizon Hobby servos, they stripped out, so we had to change it. You go look at the reviews on this airplane, that's most of the negative parts. Or, <laughs> most of the negatives people talk about are the servos. They strike to strip out on you. Man, you're not really going forward, are you? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flaps half, flaps up. Pretty decent head, man. Probably land with mid flaps just fine. Yeah, fine. Kind of kind of flaps half, flaps up. Flaps half, flaps up. A little bit of crosswind there. where I ran out of stuff to talk about, so I'm going to stop and wait till more landings. We got a half flap landing going on. Flaps 
I don't know how, I mean, I don't know if that looks any more proper or not, but, you know, as you can see by the windsock over there, there's some wind. Enough to where you don't have to use full force if you don't want Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Spinner's missing some paint there. Yeah, that was from the uh, up. weed incident we were talking about earlier. Yeah. I'm sorry if that sounds wrong to some ears. <laughs> So back on this radio, one thing we really like about it is it tells you when you have weak signal. It audibly tells you. Spectrum so far that I know it doesn't do that. But uh, maybe their new NX radios does, I don't know. They just came out with a new series of radios. And I don't know what that means. I think that's a timer, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's a random beep and no, that does not mean that his signal is running low. It's just a timer. Yeah. Switches on this radio are so much nicer too. My experience, at least with my DX8 Gen 2, is they like to get floppy. And you have to tighten up these, tighten up the, I don't know what you call them, but they keep loosening up on you. We haven't experienced that problem yet with this radio. Also, on the another thing I, I personally really like, and then probably he does too, is but the link up time when you power on the radio and the receiver, uh, it's a lot faster. It's almost instant. Nice. Some real world turbulence conditions there. There. Yeah, I guess it will work. Yeah, it's getting pretty breezy now. It sucks a little more straight out. Man, this thing's nice and wet. Look at that windscreen. You can see that nice and foggy. <laughs> oh, anyway, that's my... And I got water on my lens. Nice. Anyway. Uh, yeah, that's the filler for a video. I haven't done one in a while, so this one's on next. Thanks for watching my RC. See you next time.